huge thank you to MPB for sponsoring this video. One of the biggest dilemmas we face as photographers is deciding what gear to take with us when we go out with our cameras. This is particularly true when it comes to lenses. If you're anything like me, you'll have your go-to lenses and those that rarely or never leave the house. And then you have your in-between lenses, the ones that you swither over every time you plan to go out. You know the ones that you regret not taking when you don't take them and the ones that you resent carrying around when you do. In all seriousness though, in my opinion, these lenses are the most important lenses that you own because they often push you out with your comfort zone, which can lead to your most unique and captivating images. I got one of these in-between lenses last year. Initially, I never took it out with me, but as the year went on, I began to take it with me more and more because I was so impressed with the images that it helped me to create. The lens I'm referring to is this one here, the Nikon Z 100-400mm lens. And in this video, I'm going to share with you why I plan to use this lens more than any other in 2023. Welcome back to the beautiful northeast of Scotland, the part of the world that I do the majority of my photography, film nearly all my videos, host all my workshops, and where I've lived my whole life. This coastline means the world to me. Without it, I would never have started photography, and I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now either. It's been nearly 14 years since I started photographing this area and I genuinely have never grown tired of it. I believe one of the reasons for this is because I'm always looking for new ways to connect with the landscape here. If you're not new to my channel, you will have seen this over the years, and especially more recently, as I've began to delve into the more creative forms of photography, such as intentional camera movement and multiple exposure photography. But this lens in particular has played a huge role in helping me to see and connect with this area in recent months too. I wanted to share my experience of using this lens with you as I feel that it may help you with your own photography journey. But first, I'm gonna interrupt today's video for a minute to let you know about today's sponsor, MPB. Now remember those lenses that I spoke about at the start of this video? the ones that we hardly ever take out with us. For me, one of those lenses is this one here, my 50mm Prime. I got this at the start of last year and I've literally only used it once and I don't intend to use it in my work moving forwards either. Instead of leaving it at home collecting dust, today I'm gonna sell it using MPB's online platform. Not only will I earn some cash by doing this, but somebody else will be able to make good use of it too. Selling to MPB couldn't be easier. To sell my lens, all I need to do is type in the details about my lens on their platform. I then get an instant quote. If I'm happy with the quote, I then go on to book a date for a career to come and pick up the lens from my house, which MPB organises. And then once they've received my lens and approved of it, I get paid. You can also buy from MPB too, which can save you around one third compared to buying equipment new. So if you like what I'm about to tell you about my 100 to 400 millimeter lens and you would like to get one similar for yourself, buying from MPB could save you quite a bit of money. The thing I love the most about all of this is that it helps the planet too. In fact, MPB put a lot of time and effort into ensuring that their company operates as sustainably as possible. So if you love nature as much as I do, would like to make or save some money and enjoy photography in the process, why not consider selling, trading or buying to MPB today? It's literally a win-win situation for everyone. Now let's get back to talking about why I plan to use my 100 to 400 millimeter lens more than any other this year. I've been working with other photographers for nearly four years now. And in that time, I've noticed a common theme within people's images, especially during times when people feel frustrated or unfulfilled with the images that they're creating. 
I've noticed when reviewing their images that there's usually quite a lot going on in their photographs. They've seen something beautiful that they want to photograph, but their images haven't quite turned out as they'd envisaged. The biggest advice that I find myself giving others is to try and simplify their images. A great way to understand this is to look at published photography work in magazines or books, or by looking at which images have won or been commended in well-known photography competitions. When viewed with an open mind, looking at other people's work can be a great learning tool or source of inspiration. One thing that you will see time and time again is how simple many images are. There's usually one clear defined subject and the photographer has used a mix of techniques such as an interesting composition and beautiful light to show off the subject in a captivating way. But it's a simplicity that's worth talking about here because that's why I've fallen in love with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. Because this is a zoom lens, you cannot use it to include foreground. You often want foreground in your landscape images, but if you find it hard to include foreground without your image becoming overcrowded, this lens helps to eliminate that problem. When I started photography, trying to find foreground interest was a huge frustration of mine. I'd often come down to this beach, be greeted with an incredible sunset and spend so much time looking for captivating foregrounds that I would end up missing the best of the light. Of course, there would be times when I would find good foregrounds, but not always. This lens has opened up a whole new world of opportunity for me. I can now work with the light in ways that I've never been able to before. I am no longer coming down here and photographing the same landscape subjects that I have for so many years. I am now zooming in to aspects of the landscape and really emphasising the exact subjects that are inspiring me. Whether this is beautiful shaped clouds, birds soaring through the sky, or waves surging to shore. These are always things that I've included in my images, but they've never been my sole subject or focus. And now they are. I'm finding myself producing images with so much more simplicity and impact and I am now enjoying photography more than ever before. So if you're feeling unsatisfied with your images or you feel there's too much going on, investing with a lens like this can really help you to simplify your photographs. Photographing this way isn't for everyone, but if you haven't tried it, it may just give your photography a new lease of life like it has for mine. So let me know in the comments below, what has your experience been with using zoom lenses? Have they helped you to simplify your images? And will you be using yours in 2023? As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. If you enjoyed this video and would like to send some gratitude, feel free to click the thanks button below. Or if you'd like to offer some continued support, it would mean a lot to me to have you on board as a monthly channel member. All your kind offerings will go towards the continued development and running of this channel. And if you'd like some guidance from me personally, all the links to my upcoming workshops and online mentorship program can be found in the description box below. I currently have a 15% discount on all private workshops booked with me before the 29th of January 2023. And there are only a couple of spaces left on my 2023 residential Murray Coast workshops. Thank you so much for your time and have a great week wherever you are in the world.